So today we are looking at team of the season Griffo. You can see here high high work rates, right footed, four star, four star, five foot eleven. He can play left wing back, left wing cam, and left mid. We got him in our left mid role today, and you can see here he's got 86 finishing, 97 shot power, 80 composure, fantastic agility and balance with 93, 91. Really good passing as well. Great acceleration, sprint speed. Turns the trade got outside the foot shot, and nothing else too crazy. We've gone for a hawk, and that's made to boost up his pace and his shooting. We are going to be playing in our four triple two. We're going to be playing in the brand new Tots Cup. This come out to try and finish that off so it is a little bit sweaty we're talking about chem styles pricing what i thought about the card and much more at the end of the review on footbin but that being said let's go jump into some gameplay but have a word from today's sponsor first are you tired of playing sweat teams like this make sure you go to alt night select foot select foot 23 coins choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy select your payment method and don't forget to add code nanic for six percent off on all orders so I couldn't actually find a game in the Bundesliga Cup or the Tops Cup, whatever it's called. So we've gone into Foot Champs playoffs. We're already about 5-0 at the minute, so we should be at a good ELO for a good competition. We're playing Griffo in a 4 triple two system, and his main role is to play... Oh my god, this is a terrible team. <laughs> What's the chance of that? But we're going to be playing him in a left wing role, so he's basically going to be playing in a 4 triple two as a left cam. He's going to be going forward, he's going to be doing defending, he's going to be doing a lot of the work. So we're going to be def def test him out. Definitely test him out, sorry, in different positions. A good tackle from him. And his main job today is to see how he feels in front of the ball, how he feels on and off in terms of link-up play and much more as we do get Griffo here. It feels a little bit clunky to start off. He's got a weird body type, but we'll cover that. Good interception from Griffo again. There's a defensive work. He's made a tackle and an interception already. So you pick up the ball here, driving past that silver left back. It's a bit of a slow, bad animation on the dribble there, though. Griffo on the ball, driving into that space. Good pass. Going to hold it up for a minute. Griffo there. Good pass. Go for that left foot. Oh, off the bar there. Got the header though, and he's missed it, unfortunately. Does keep it on. Griffo with an attempt of a header. Griffo, cross goal, and there is the goal we've been looking for. It could be a race quit already. Good things I'm noticing with him is his left stick is a little bit stiff at times. He does do a lot of the good defensive work, though. If we were to have a look at his in-games in a second, you can see that he does the defensive work really well. In terms of possessions, that's seven dribbles, five complete so far. Two shots. One I read time and hit the bar, and one we've got in. So in terms of finishing, looks good quite far. Uh, in terms of passing, eh, he's okay. Nothing to, to basically pick up on in terms of good or bad. But looking good so far. So our opponent has made some changes. So let's carry on with Griffo running that left-hand side. Van Griffo here on the overlap. Left foot passing. That's a really good pass. God, it's a shame Werner couldn't hold the ball up there. We had him clean through otherwise. We've got him running over the top. Can he take it down in a good stride? Oh, lovely touch in. Left foot across goal. And a left foot or right foot there. And that is a great finish from him. So far, he's had three shots. One that I've read time and hit the bar, and the other two have gone in from a cross goal there. So you can see he can do the attacking work really, really well. It's a nice touch as well into the, the play over the top. Griffo on the ball. Lovely left stick. Interesting pass from him, though. We might concede from that. And we have... What was that pass from him there? Let us down big time. You can see our opponent has took off all those low-rated players. I don't know what he was doing. Right, let's go counter-attack. Straight out to Griffo. It's not the greatest for a good header out, though. They push him up the field. Griffo is one-on-one -on -one again. Going for the green time, back of the net. This card is so clinical, by the way. He's finishing so many chances on this left-hand side, shooting across goal. This is a really, really good card. If you're looking for someone just to fill in that gap, even as a super sub, you could definitely play cam, left mid, or even up front if you need him to. His finishing is absolutely fantastic. Good tackle from Griffo again. Now we've got the counter-attack underway. Good control. Bit slow in the skill animation. Though. I did try to turn to do skill a couple of times there. Now we've got him down to space. Bad defending. Oh, I tried to get a penalty. Do keep it on? Not quite, unfortunately. That's a shame. And that is half time. So, so far, looking so good with Griffo. He's done exactly what we need him to do in terms of his finishing. His ability in front of goal was unbelievable. He's a bit slow on a left stick dribble and going into full speed. And his skill animation is very slow as well. But I do think that's down to his body type and how EA do that. But we are going to have a look at his halftime performances so far. So you can see, see here, four goals, 18 dribbles, 13 complete, five shots, four on target, four goals. So the only one we've missed is the red time that I did myself. In terms of passing, a very good card. There's nothing to talk about in terms of that. Defending, he's very, very good as well. Let's see if he can carry it on into the second half. Looking for the space. Griffo with a dribble, gets past one, gets past two, green time. And again, five shots that have been on target have gone in. That's how good he is. All right, counter-attack. Make Griffo go on that manual run. Got Werner in between. We've got ourselves a space here. 
But the skill gets past Lorejo, or does he? Not quite. Nesma is that point of what I was saying about the skill there and the animation being a bit slow. He's not the best when it comes to skill moves. Go for a bit of skill past the slide tackle. Good pass in. Lovely turn. Now we've got ourselves a bit of angle here. Still a bit of work to do. Oh, I tried to run to byline and cut it back, unfortunately, just to test out his pace. A bit weak there. That's a shame. Wait for the overlap. Griffo run into that space. Gone for the shot. And <laughs> it's still gone in. This is what I'm saying about this card. How clinical is he? What have I just seen there? So as we can see here, Griffo has had 26 dribbles, 19 complete. He's had seven shots, five on target with six goals. You worked that one out. I have no idea how that's worked. In terms of passing, though, he's had uh, 18 passes, 15 all complete. No assists, unfortunately, but we haven't been using him in that role. He's just been that attacking winger for us. In terms of defense, he's had one out of two tackles, one, one interception. Offensive duels, he's had three out of 11, but defensive duels, he's basically won almost every single one. And that just shows you how consistent this card is. We are going to go jump onto Footbin now. I think we've seen enough gameplay. So our opponent has rubber bands, so we have jumped on to Footbin. You can see he's costing about 55,000 coins. He's had 340 likes to 276 dislikes. And we went for a hawk on him today, and the main reason was to boost up that pace and that finishing. And I think the evidence was in the review today of how good his finishing was. Makes him into a 94 winger. He's a 92 rated. In terms of chem stars, people are saying hawk or basic, so he did pick the right one today. And he feels really, really good in front of goal. He could play striker if you need him to. He can play cam. Could definitely do the left back wing, well, left wing back role if you need him to. But his defending obviously is a little bit inconsistent with 77 defending. But. I will mention that his left stick dribbling is a little bit heavy, and I don't know if that's down to his body type being average and being 5 foot 11. Even though he has a really high agility and balance, there's just something about it. In terms of skill moves animation as well, he's not the quickest, and that is a little bit frustrating. If we were to compare him to his gold card, just to see if he's got a weak foot or skill move upgrade, he has got himself a two star weak foot upgrade. And we could see today him being the foot that he is and the amount of goals that he scored on his weak foot just shows you that, that upgrade has come in massively. He got a lot of goals for us on his left foot. And overall, just really, really impressed by this card. As always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card in the game, please comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. See ya.